we're going to practice setting up the do undo chart to solve an equation. The first thing we want to start with is our equation. So P is equal to 2L plus 2W. And let's say we are solving for W. Okay? So the first thing we want to do is start with the variable that we're solving for. So start with W. Now, what is the very first thing we did to W? So how I like to practice this is I like to read it out loud. P is equal to 2 times L plus 2 times W. The last thing that I said is what I need to be writing down, actually. What am I doing directly to W? The first thing that I'm directly doing to W is multiplying it by 2. So I'm going to write times 2. 2 times W gave me 2W. So that's how I got that much of my equation. So that's what the do side is doing. We're trying to set up the actual equation. So, so far, I have 2W. How do I get the 2L? Well, did I subtract it? Did I multiply it? Did I divide it? I added it. So I'm going to write plus 2L. That gave me 2W plus 2L. Like I said, all I'm doing is setting up the equation right now. So 2W plus 2L, now we get to the equal sign. This is where we're going to switch sides, and we're going to start to undo. So I know that 2L plus 2W is equal to P. That's the equation they gave me. So now that I've built the equation, I know how I can work backwards to solve for that W. So here, we have P. Instead of adding 2L on the undo side, we're going to do the opposite, which is subtract 2L. So in here, we're going to have P minus 2L. And then the same thing. Here we multiplied by 2. So when we undo, we're going to divide by 2. So we're going to have P minus 2L divided by 2. We made it back to the top. So W is equal to P minus 2L divided by 2. This works for any equation that you have. Let's try another example. A X plus B Y equals C. Oh my goodness, Ms. James, there's no numbers. That's perfectly fine because these A, B, and C, they represent numbers. They can be any number, so can x and y. Okay, so this is just a multivariable equation, okay? But on this specific equation, we are going to solve for y. So just like we did on the previous example, I'm going to set up my chart, undo chart, all of the equation, okay? So starting with y, because that's what we're solving for, what is the first thing, thing being done to y? So I'm going to cover up my whole equation and be left with y. The first thing being done to y is that we're multiplying times a b. Mind you, these two written right next to each other like that means we're multiplying the two. So I'm going to times b. That gave me by. So now, after I got by, what is the next thing that I did to my equation? I added AX. So I'm going to add AX, which gave me BY plus AX. AX plus BY is the exact same thing as BY plus AX. I just wrote them backwards. Same thing. So now that I got to this point and I've successfully set up this side of my equation, this is where the equal sign comes in. And I'm going to work backwards. So AX plus BY is equal to C. Now I'm going to go backwards. Here, instead of plus AX, I'm going to subtract AX from both sides. So C minus AX. And then here, instead of multiplying times B, 
I'm going to divide everything by B. So C minus A X divided by B. That's what Y is equal to. Now, just for fun, I'm going to rewrite that down here. So Y equals C minus A X over B. We can separate those two because these two are separate terms. So I'm going to rewrite that as Y is equal to C over B minus A over B X over B. So all I did was separate those two fractions. And now all I'm going to do, I want, mind you, we always write it, y equals mx plus b. I want my mx term to be in the front. So I'm going to rewrite that as y equals negative a over b x plus, it's a plus because c over b is a positive here, so it's going to stay positive here, c over b. You look closely, you might notice that these are the exact tricks we wrote down for how to find our slope and how to find our intercept from standard form.